Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another shorty fountain pen video. I'll try to do a pen review as quick and dirty as the YouTube sensors will allow. Today's shorty is another pen sent to me by viewer Ed Anthony. This is the Lanby 2 6051 retractable fountain pen. This is a pen that I wasn't interested in purchasing for review in the least. A long, skinny, retractable pen from a Chinese company not known for their quality. It was Lanby 2 who copied the Platinum Curidas, and from the reviews I've seen, like Doodlebuds, I'm glad I didn't get one. But Ed felt I needed to review it, so he sent one, and at first blush, I'm surprised that I'm impressed. It's solidly built and feels very familiar in my hand because of its similarity to my much used mechanical pencils from my pencil drafting scenery and lighting design days, like my Alvin Draftmatic mechanical pencil. Of course, the first thing I wanted to do was take it apart. So let's do that. This little cap comes off the front. It sort of protects the nib hole, I guess, uh, and it can be lost easily. So I always put it right there on the clip. And that clip is actually nice and springy. So let's store that there. Here's the business end. We unscrew that. And that sleeve comes off. And then there's your guts. Uh, this is a, a slide type converter that has an agitating spring in it. So with these kinds of things, you have to make sure that they slide nicely or you might have an accident on your hands. And then there's the spring. And then there is a nib. Now I've already replaced this nib. Here's the nib that came with it. And these are kind of standard hooded nibs that you can get in bulk. And this is just a fine. And I'm not interested in that. So I'm gonna, I pulled this off of there. It just comes off of that round feed very, very easily. And you can pull that feed out of there as well. And there's the plastic feed. So there are all your parts. Uh, the feed, the small collar, the spring, the converter, uh, the pen itself, and the, the nib protector in the front end of the pen. So that's as far as I can take it apart. Uh, but just to put that new nib on there, we just line it up. There's a little nub right there that will line up with the slot and just slide it on. Put that back into the collar, shove it all the way in. That's what she said. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 And then we put the converter back on. The spring goes over there. The hood goes on the front. And the whole thing just screws together. And there you go. So that nib that I put on there is one that I purchased because it has a zoom type grind to it that I'm interested in and uh, trying out. So let's ink it up and try it out. And since this is the beginning of the lucrative gift giving season, I decided to ink it up with some diamine happy holidays, shimmer and sheen. There we go. Retract our pen and give it a try. This is the Lanby 2 6051, and the ink is Diamine Happy Holidays. I might enjoy writing with this pen. Look at that. And all for about four bucks. And I'll put the dimensions of this pen in the description. The Land B2 6051 can be purchased on AliExpress and is usually in the $3 to $4 US range. It comes in white, light blue, black, deep blue, red, pink, and matte black. A bargain at twice the price. Thanks again to Ed Anthony for providing this pen for review. And there you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. I made this.